Who is it? Open the bloody door, Outfield. What the? Fake Sean Connery? What are you doing here? It's Sir Fake Sean Connery, you stylish pink trainer. Right, it's Sir Fake Sean. What are you doing on this February evening? Writing more of your homosexual three men and a baby fanfic, are you? It's called Slash Fiction, and it's lovely, I'm sure. No plans for tonight? No. Despite the date on the calendar? I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Right, right. Uh, here's a question. What do insufferable whining knicker twisters who couldn't know the loving touch of a woman if they were next of kin call the 14th of February? I, I don't know. What? No, I need to know what you call it. It's for a survey. Yeah, very funny. I don't see a woman holding your hand. Well, that's because I tend to give them the back of mine. And I'm sodding imaginary, so I have that excuse to be alone tonight. Right, right. I know you hate Valentine's Day, my boy. But have you ever read up on exactly where the holiday comes from? I'd bet that would warm your flabby, grease-filled little heart. Well, I, I, I think we get the holiday from uh, uh, San Valentinus, who performed secret marriages for Roman soldiers when... Emperor Claudius forbid men in his army to marry her. Oh, and he would cut little hearts out of parchment and give them to these husbands to remind them of their vows. Ah, and did you further know that all of this is rubbish and was made up in later centuries to explain why St. Valentine was venerated, when all anyone really knew was that there was a saint by that name who was martyred on the 14th of February? No, I, I didn't know that. Just putting you in your place, lad. So the, the legend that he had an amethyst ring with the image of Cupid on it, and that's why amethyst is the birthstone of February, also cock and bull. Wow. Did you know that St. Valentine's flower-covered skull is on prominent display in a Cosmodin Basilica in Rome? No. I had my way with two gorgeous nuns in front of it one time. How romantic. When in Rome? You know, this is making me feel a bit better. As it should. As it should. And did you know that that particular saint was a symbol for sacrifice until the 14th century, when Geoffrey Chaucer wrote a romantic poem called Valentine's? No, I, I didn't know that either. You should teach a course. I do teach a course. It's called Best Shag of Your Life 101. Is that one required for graduation? No, but many still audit the clash. Uh, are you here for a reason, Sir Sean? Yes, I came to keep you company. Wow, that's sad. No, no, that was my line. Yours is, How marvelous, Sir Fake Sean, I wish I'd worn a kilt. Who wrote this crap? And that one, my boy, should be my line. So, you do seem to be alone tonight. What's your excuse? I need no excuse. When you've a face like mine, every day is Valentine's Day. Okay, I'll give you that one. But on the real day of the calendar, here you are with me. Look, at least I'm not sitting in front of a microphone talking to myself. Good point. Good point. You know what would really cheer you up? That blonde girl at work that only comes in one day a month? I'm a bad impression of a movie star, not a ruddy miracle worker. I was thinking a nice romantic song. Yes, yes, C can we do Endless Love? I do adore that song. That's a duet, you dolt. How could we sing it together? Well, we have in the past. No, no, I'll sing the song, and you sit there and stare dreamily into the middle distance. I can do that. Press play on the, uh, the thing. Wait, wait, what, what song are you going to sing? Don't worry your oversized head about it. Wait, this sounds familiar. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, never asking why. We kissed, I fell under your spell. A love no one could deny. Don't you ever say, I just walked away. 
I will always want you. I can't live a lie running for my life. I will always want you. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break your walls. All you ever did was break me. Yeah, you wreck me. I put you high up in the sky, and now you're not coming down. It slowly turned, you let me burn, and now we're ashes on the ground. Don't you ever say, I just walked away, I will always want you. I can't live a lie, running for my life, I will always want you. I came in like a wrecking ball, I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break your walls. All you ever did was break me. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, I closed my eyes and swung, left me, crouching in a blaze and fall. All you ever did was break me. Yeah, you, you wreck me. Oh, do try to keep your tongue in your mouth, sir. I never meant to start a war. I just wanted you to let me in. And instead of using force, I guess I should have let you in. I never meant to start a war. I just wanted you to let me in. I guess I should have let you in. Don't you ever say, I just walked away, I will always want you. I came in like a wrecking ball, I never hit so hard in love. All I wanted was to break your walls, all you ever did was break me. I came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, I closed my eyes and swung, left me crouching in a blaze and fall. All you ever did was break me, yeah, you, you wreck me. Ah. Ugh, and I thought it was bad when Miley sang it. Well, you thought wrong then, didn't you? See, even your Uncle Sean has feelings. Regrets? I mean, nothing compared to yours, of course, Outfield, but on a low day, when the alcohol's gone. Oh, thanks. You feel better now, boy? No, a actually, now I feel a little bit worse. Then my work here is done. I do love you, Sir Fake Sean Connery. Call me Sean, lad. Have a good night. <laughs>